Hi guys, what's up? It's Nick here with another video on how you can improve your trading. Today I'm going to be looking at whether or not you should join a chat room. I'm going to look very quickly at the pros, the cons, give my take and really give you an idea of what you need to do if you are either in a chat room or considering joining a chat room because I think they can be great but also very dangerous and we'll go through all of that. Before we begin, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you find the video useful, leave me a like, comment down below anything that you found in chat rooms and any other content you'd like to see on this channel. Check out the rest of the videos I've already got out and let's jump in. So let's first of all look at the benefits because I do think that chat rooms can have uh, some benefit to new traders in particular. And there are also some other benefits that I think everybody can really take away from. So number one, trading is pretty lonely. And I find this uh, myself uh, as quite a big thing. If you are trading on your own and I'm in the UK, so it's from 2.30 p.m. until around about 7 p.m. If my girlfriend's out at work, I'm sitting here on my own. I've got no real interaction with anybody and it can be kind of tough. And if you go through a not so good periods, then you've only got really yourself to uh, kind of talk to, which isn't particularly fun. And when you go through a good period, it can kind of not be that exciting as well. It's nice to have at least a community and or whether it's big or small of other people that you can connect with and just talk to. And I really think that it's a really cool way to make friends with people. Now, whether that's friends that you never end up seeing or if it's friends that you do end up meeting up with, it is a good benefit. Trading is lonely. Having a team around you, having some friends, at least makes the day go by. On a very, very dull day, maybe you can just chat to them. We can talk about how it can work the other way as well, but for the moment, we'll stick to the benefits. Now, I've put in here that you can learn from others. I've put a couple of stars next to that because this is where we're going to get into in the in the cons and in, in a second how it's really dangerous but if you're a brand new trader and you have joined a chat room then yes you can probably go in there and learn from other people if you do not have any trading experience or very very little then somebody who has a year or two trading experience even if they're not making money can help you maybe understand a concept you don't know or maybe look at the market in a certain way you hadn't looked at before and these can be helpful. I really stress with this that before you take any technical advice or any psychology advice from anybody in a chat room, have a look and see if they're actually successful or not. And don't be afraid to point blank ask them. You know, message them and say, hey, because I've done this right in the past. I've messaged people and gone, hey, really enjoying our chat in the main room. Can you let me know about your strategy and chat about it? And they have then turned around in the chat room. I've had a number of people who have come across as if these guys are definitely profitable and know what they're talking about. And then on a one-to-one -one message, all of a sudden their persona completely changes and it goes, so I'm trying to implement this strategy. I'm not quite there yet. So you can learn from others and you can make teams, which is great, right? Maybe find your trading buddy or whatever, but be very, very wary that learning from the wrong source isn't particularly good. I'm going to go more about that in the cons, but if you're pretty new to trading or even if you've been trading a while, but you're kind of stuck, joining a chat room to see if other people have other ideas is potentially a good idea. And even if you're at a point where you feel like you don't really need that much help, you know what you're doing, then helping others actually helps you as well. So that is a benefit. And of course, rooms are often led by successful traders. Not always, but often they are opened by a successful trader who is either looking to create a small community for themselves or if it's a paid chat room. And the benefit with this is you can then get pretty good access to a successful trader. What I would suggest with this, and I'm going to go more on this towards the end, is if you are following a trader who you know is making money, you know is successful when they have a chat room, try to really use them within the chat room. And it sounds bad, but that's what they're doing it for. They're doing it to help others. So if you've got it, if you've joined a chat room, you're thinking of joining a chat room, even if you're paying for it, make sure that you go into it 
with the goal really of going I don't want to really connect with loads of other people I want to connect with this one trader to give me as much benefit as I possibly can now onto the cons and I'll be completely honest I think the cons quite significantly outweigh the benefits uh, once you reach a certain point now straight off the bat 95% of traders lose some people say 90 some people say 95 some people say 98 it's in the 90% of region 90% region of traders lose the big problem with this is when you go into a chat room there is a huge amount of chat a huge amount of people saying what they're doing the problem with this is these are most likely a lot of losing traders sharing their ideas to other losing traders who then talk about why it's good why it's bad now the problem with this is a lot of the advice is not going to be profitable advice there will be a certain element of do what i say not what i do but the problem that i find a lot is that like i was saying you you see somebody who is sharing their trades all the time think wow this guy seems to know what they're doing they're very knowledgeable you reach out to them go hey love the stuff you put in the chat maybe we've had a bit of back and forth you know how's your trading going and they turn around and go well it's going okay uh this month i'm down a few hundreds uh but i feel like i'm turning it around and you go well hang on this guy's been sharing his winning trades and all of a sudden you begin to realize that this person's a losing trader they have not managed to break break into that profitability stage yet certainly not consistently profitable and yet they are sharing their ideas with the group and people are listening and following to them because they've built up that authority what then happens is people begin following it people begin talking more about it people back them up when they are in fact a losing trader and being completely open and honest if i was entering a chat room and someone was giving me advice and i found that they were a losing trader not only would i stop listening to their advice i'd probably leave the room if other people were defending them because i don't want to you know if i was a relatively new trader or somebody who wasn't making money take a ton of advice of people who are losing now the next few cons i think are even even worse um they're noisy and distracting if you're having a day where maybe there haven't been many setups for you today you know i'm, I'm recording this at like uh 3 p.m my time which i think is like uh 11 a.m us time i haven't had a single trade setup today it's boring there's nothing really going on and i'll be honest i am part of a very small group and i use it purely for entertainment more than anything else and to chat with people if i was in a room and i'm constantly seeing people talking about the trades they've taken the money they've made am i going to be able to just sit back and be like yeah it's fine i'm i'm not really interested in trading right now i haven't had my setup it gets harder and harder and harder and it encourages fomo it encourages jumping onto new strategies so not only are you in this situation where you're not fully focused on the charts you're actually looking at maybe what someone else is doing you can even get invested in them right you can even have a situation where you see somebody take a trade you don't like their idea and as a result you almost want it to lose or you want them to win you become invested in that you begin watching it off on another screen your focus has gone from 100 percent on your screens to 70 percent on your trade 20 percent on someone else's trade 10 percent on the chat and you miss a trade or you take a bad trade you see someone else take a trade you know that they're successful you haven't had anything you haven't been doing too well recently well let's let's copy their strategy you see someone else doing well because people love to post their profit for some reason in chat rooms and sometimes they're, they're lost as well but they love to post and you get that fomo of like wow how has this guy made 2k already today i haven't even had a trade set up it's only 20 past it's, it's 20 minutes into the market and this guy's already made 2k damn how, i've got to find out what he does he, he 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 makes money so i'm going to do it and then you jump onto a new strategy you begin looking at new ideas people are often very very certain a guy i saw today uh, and i'm not going to name names i'm not going to talk about chat rooms because I'm, I'm a member of a couple and i'm, I'm not going to you know throw shade on anyone because i think chat rooms can be incredibly positive as well but this guy came into uh the room and he said good morning everybody and gave this whole kind of uh list of like oh the es is reaching this point so if it takes this out balls balls are in control blah 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 and he was given these quite technical terms and you look at that and you go okay 
Maybe this guy knows what he's doing. He then proceeded to say that he'd lost a lot of money the previous day and he's still learning. Now that could be somebody who's simply saying, yep, I'm always learning. I'm profitable and I'm always learning. I love that attitude. The reality is, it's far more likely that that person isn't making any money, but they're giving advice as if they have a set, uh, a set and solid and profitable strategy when in fact they're not. And the problem with this, I find, and this might be a personal thing, but I'm sure other people find it as well, is you then go and look for that. You just have a slight, oh, I'm not, not really seeing myself right now. I'll go and have a look. And you see it and it works once. You're like, wow. And all of a sudden, you're hooked on that idea. Maybe I'll go and trade that strategy. And I catch myself doing this sometimes. I go and test something else and it takes some uh, focus away from my own trading. And all of this it makes you less likely to focus on your strategy, it makes you less likely to focus on accurately executing your strategy. And then finally, I think that chat rooms massively inflate your own ego, other people's egos are inflated. They want, uh, you see so many people who just want to share their profits for the day. You know, you'll get qu quotes like, right, one and done for the day, easy $700 off to do whatever. And it's with that sort of the tone is written almost with this smirk of like, look how good I am. Look how good I did today. And then that makes other people go, right, I want to share when I've had a profitable day. So they have a profitable day and you'll see other comments like, plus 500 today could have been better, but happy I came out green. Why do other people need to know that? Why do you feel they need to share that? The whole reason is because you've built a community and you want to build status within that community. It inflates the ego. And when the ego begins taking over, you begin taking trades you shouldn't. You begin trying to uh, copy other people's trades. And even worse, when you make a mistake, it's 10 times worse because you don't want to admit that mistake. Now, like I said, this is partly my personal experience. Maybe I'm just that type of person, but it's something that I have seen in other people as well. And then another one, the cons. And again, I'm not going to name the room this is. If you are in this particular room, maybe you'll recognize this type, but I'm just going to put it out there. If you are joining a room to become a successful trader, you are trying to connect with other successful traders or connect with traders who can help you. And you want to be in a professional, you know, room because trading is at the end of the day, it's a profession, right? And being serious a moment, the people who are making money, yeah, they can have fun with it, but it's, they're living at the end of the day. If this is the chat room, and these are just GIFs of you know, funny things and everything, and if this is a chat room for a profession, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's not very professional. So I see this and I go, this isn't something I can learn from. This isn't something I can benefit from. And if you're in a chat room and this is what it is like, and these, these are in the middle of the trading day. I can understand if it's you know in the middle of the night and people are chatting about things. This is about trades. You know, we got a runner, run for us, run, grind, grind. That's talking about a future, a future's contract, making a move higher or making a move lower. Now, just, just sit back and think about that. If you want to take trading professionally and you see this, I'm sorry, but that is not a way to become a professional trader. Now, this room in particular is free. It's a chilled out room. Fine, it has its purpose. If you're looking to join a chat room to gain something from it, and I and see this, run away. And this is another thing that you'll see. These are just examples is from the same chat room. And again, I'm not throwing shade in that chat room because it's it's a fun room, it's chilled out. But if you were to look at if you if you if you are considering joining a chat room and you see things like this, someone's saying they're still red in the day, wait long went long, got stopped out. Uh, the grind continues because they're profitable, someone pointing out how much money. Just put it into perspective. Let's say that you haven't been able to take any trades today and you see somebody posting their profit. You see 10 people posting their profit and some creators, some or some people who run chat rooms, even hold polls, who was green today? Why is it? It's not competition. How is that going to help people? Because here's the thing. Most people post when they're green and not so much when they're red. And that gives a very false impression as to how trading actually is because everybody has a green day if you have if you have 10 traders and each of those 10 traders only have one green day a week but they only post when they're green and then one day when they're red well you're going to get the impression that 50% of the traders are making money in this room 
All this does is it breeds FOMO. It, be, it, it breeds forcing trades so that you can take a trade and show it to the group. You see something, you go, wow, that strategy looks like it actually works really well. I should do that. That is not how you get good at trading. So my take, as you can probably tell personally, I hate chat rooms. I think that most of them do not actually serve a purpose uh, of, of benefiting your trading at all. I think that they are good to make friends with. They're good to build a small community from. But as a whole, they tend to be more detrimental than good. I'll put it this way. I've been in chat. I was for the first four years of my trading career. I don't think there was a single point where I was trading on my own. I was in a chat room. In those four years, at no point did I become successful. And maybe that was because I was partaking in those activities rather than doing what maybe I've put down here. The moment I stopped being in a chat room, focused on a very small community, myself and my trading buddy, that's when the success came. And being completely honest, the, in, in, the, in the past as well, when I've had pockets of success, they've often been when I've gone away, I've done things on my own, and then when that's fallen apart is when I began to share with a chat room. Because the chat rooms, for me at least, and I think for other people as well, if you're the type of person that you're very competitive, you can easily get distracted, maybe have sort of like some ADHD tendencies. Um, they, they, they prevent you from actually focusing on what you're supposed to be doing. Now, like I said, a small communities for fun absolutely fine if you have a if you have a room and there's maybe 50 to 100 people in it and you don't use it whilst trading you use it purely in the evenings to chat to people you maybe use it when you're very very bored and you've already shut down your trading stuff because you know you're not going to get a setup and just like ah whatever i'm not going to do anything today and just chat to people fine don't use it as a way to get better at trading beyond that sort of like very early stages now, I do think that if you can create a small team focused on one approach, if you can if you can essentially find somebody in a chat room who has a very specific way of trading and you say to them, hey, I really like the way you trade, would you be up for joining up and trying to make the approach even better? Ideally, somebody who's already profitable, but if you can just, if it's a strategy that you like the look of, and then just the two of you essentially leave the room and work just together as a team, that's a benefit because you've got the same approach. You take a lot of the uh, the FOMO, the forcing trades out of it. My trading buddy and I, we try to take the exact same trades. If one of us isn't around, I think the performance drops. Now, it's not to say sometimes, you know, we don't, we don't have disagreements on trades and can talk ourselves into things. Of course that happens. But for the most part, when we're working as a team, it benefits us. But it's a very small team. It's two people. And finally, if you do pay for a chat room, think about what you're paying for. You are paying for insight from the trader, the guru, whatever. You're paying for their insight. You're paying for their premium content. You're paying for access to them. The chat room comes with it. The chat room is the least valuable part of what you're paying for. In fact, I would be happy to pay the same amount of money, if not a little bit more, not have the chat room, just get the content and just have the access to the trader who, I'm, uh, who I want to emulate. So when you do pay for a chat room, you know, assuming it comes along with like a video bank, use the video bank, refine the strategy, use, use the things I've spoken about in other videos to go, okay, I need to use the video bank to define what the strategy is. Then I need to test it, then I need to refine it. If you are not certain on something, ask the guy leading it or the girl leading it for clarification. What if they stream, watch them trade their strategy. Spend two weeks just watching them, ignore the chat room, just watch them and go, okay, I'm starting to see how, he, how this strategy plays out. And then what you can do is you can go, right now I'm gonna trade, I'm not gonna be in the chat room, I'm going to trade on my own and then I'm maybe going to watch back the stream to see uh, to see how I did compared to the trader if that's an option or you can watch along. 
really consider what you're paying for and get the most out of it. Because if you do what, I'll be honest, what I did so many times would be I'd pay for a room, I'd watch a couple of the guys' videos, and then I'd go off and have my own ideas and talk to other people in the rooms and we'd make our own trade plans and everything. And it was honestly um, sheep following sheep. It was a complete waste of time and a waste of money. And the people leading it must have been like, this is amazing. This is, uh, this is you know, free money. This guy's just joined my chat room. He's watching me, but he's not actually asking me questions. Super easy to make money off of that. I've been in rooms as well where I've gone in, watched one or two videos, and then spent the whole time in the chat room telling people that I know all about the strategy, giving suggestions as to what we should be doing. When I was that losing trader. I've done that in the past. I'm sure a lot of us have. That's how you remove all of the value of what you pay for. So if you are considering getting a chat room or uh, joining a chat room, think about why you're joining it. If you're joining it to show off, that's your ego and that's normally when people begin to screw up. If you're joining it to learn, learn from one or two successful traders. And if once you are in that chat room, don't fall into the trap of just allowing people to sway you. Don't fall into the trap of feeling that FOMO. And if you do, I'll be honest, just leave it. You know, I, I've got a client who uh, worked really closely with, we got to a point where he was the most successful he'd ever been. He was executing on plan, he'd been making money, and he decided on a whim to join a chat room, was listening to this guy, and then one day completely changed what he was doing because this guy in the chat room had been successful. And he came to me and he said, Nick, I screwed up. I I took you know, $400 worth of losses. My strategy would have made money, but I took, because this guy was, was, you know, was sharing his strategy, he seems to be really good. And I was like, okay. So what you've done there is you've, you know, you've got FOMO. You've greedily seen someone else make money. You thought, I can do that. I'll follow him rather than following an approach that actually works. So I'm going to end it now because I can feel myself just rambling on a bit. But really be aware of chat rooms. See them what, for what they are. Use them in the correct ways. And they can be helpful. But be very wary that uh, they are not something that you should really be using all the time as a way to necessarily get better at trading.